You want to do hide and seek? Searching with cars. And I then, like that. And then super. we trade pink slips. The cop just come and talk to you. A cop? This cop on a bike pulls up next to me. Where's Damon? I need to know now. I'm not gonna have any. Any what? Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. Alex Choi back in the house. No, 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 give me this, hold on, hold on, hold on. You took, no, 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 give me this, give me this. It matches his wheels. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> Corey from, your channel is Funk, Funk Bros. Bros. Yeah. I love what you guys do on the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Some really sketchy stuff. Choi! <laughs> we'll get him back later. Somehow, he found a way to remote control my horn. So I drive around and have no way of turning that off and he honks at everybody. You wanna do hide and seek? Hide and seek, so what how does this work? Cars? So, so I'm gonna get my dusty car and follow your guys' <laughs> cool cars around and then you're, you're gonna split, find hiding spots and then whoever I find first is then it next. Yeah, like yeah. Searching with cars. And I then, like that. And then super. we trade pink slips. Yes. Oh, and the winner trades pink slips. I'll tell you this much. The only winner here is Dave. Because hey anything's yeah. better than a R8 with pink wheels. I like this game. I'm excited. Let's do this. I think you need a hat just like this. Oh, there. Go, 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 oh, go! Oh, oh, Run! Oh, oh, oh. I just, oh. Hit the button. We got a wrestling. I know what pocket it's in. It's a fall for your alarm in that pocket. Oh, I almost had it. We need to get that, that back. That was a distraction with the hat. I need to get that back. Who wants to start the DD tire slayer? Take <laughs> this. That's the key. So, first thing you do is see the bottom. Push the bottom button. Look at this. Oh, the doors pop out. You like that? Yeah. Okay, pull that out. I'm shaking. You're shaking? Yeah. That's okay. You're all good. And then all you got to do is flip that up, punch that, and tell me what you think. Is that cool? Yeah, sick. Okay, now it gets even cooler. All right? On the right side is the throttle. Just give it a little blurp and then let off. Harder. Harder. A natural. So yeah, he's a natural. Yeah. You crushed it. High fives. Right. Woo! Okay. This is this gonna uh, attract cops? So let's tell. Oh no, the cops don't care. They absolutely love us. Really? Don't they? We have like what's called a hall pass for Beverly Hills. Man, thanks a lot. Hey, my Th pleasure. Thank you. Take care, guys. Up. You guys, we're gonna have this amazing game of supercar hide and seek with Corey and Alex and all these guys, Dave and oh. Eric. Today we have a quick shout out. To it is Vincero watches, you guys. I've been wearing my Vincero watch for the last couple of weeks, actually a month. Yeah, time flies. No pun intended. Vincero is the Italian word for I will win. I will win. This Vincero watch is a blacked out edition. I've been wearing it. I absolutely love it. It is. A surgical steel case mm -hmm. with Italian leather band. Yep. I like my blacked out one. If you don't like blacked out, Dave goes a little more classy. I'm a classy guy. What can I say? This is our friend Eric. Hey. All right. He lets us stay with him so we don't have to be lonely in hotel rooms. You appreciate that? It gets lonely. Right. So I have a little gift for you from Vincero. What? Yeah. Can I open it right now? Open it right now. No way. I wanted to get you something. Now, I don't, guys, you know, I don't plug anything that's garbage. This is a legit watch company. They make beautiful watches. Whoa. I like the some real leather. This looks really good. It is. I'll put it on right now. Italian leather. And so, oh, super, oh, 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 Troy oh, took it. I the move again. These watches are meant to look like super high-end luxury watches, and they have the feel and all the movement that of a, of a luxury watch. There's a link in description. Go and pick up your Vincero watch, and you will win too. And you get a discount. We're DD. We give discounts. Of course we do. Fifteen percent, you guys. Link in description. Thanks, so, Damon. I love it. Look at this. Let's do a like three watch oh, together. Oh, This is just my personality. I don't know which one's yours, but go to their website and pick your personality. Dave has no personality. No personality. Mine should be invisible. Eric's got lots Thank of personality. You Thank you very much. You're welcome, dude. My Appreciate pleasure. It. Now, who's going to win the game? And we're off. You guys. Yeah. What's what's payback to Alex Choi for the honking alarm thing? Uh, take all of his wheels off and put his car on jacks and just put his wheels uh, all on the ground except for one and then put one on top of the building. 
That's and pretty then, good. And then, and then you have to go and you have to, he has to do like a treasure hunt to go find his wheel. What if we did this? <gasps> wheel treasure hunt. What if we did this? Plastic dip his good. windshield. Do what? what? Plastic dip his entire windshield. I like it. Hey guys, the game of supercar hide and seek has begun. We found our spot. We have a block radius just off of Rodeo. You can see it right here. Oh, I hear someone. I think that was the R. Was that the R8? That's, that's the R8. I think. Okay. Yeah. So we have this alleyway, and this works out good. So there's a hotel valet down near that end, and then there's some other places to hide. But this is just off of Beverly Drive. You can see it right here. So we're hiding. So the goal now is to just chill here, and Corey's brother is the first one who's it. So he has to go around and find one of us first. Whoever he finds first becomes the new person who's it, and they have to continue on to try to find more people as we're all hidden around this block radius. Do we hang out here until someone finds us, or do you want to move around a little bit? I think we got a good hiding spot, like 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15, keep, and yeah. then, okay. Keep the game 10 or 15 going. on the clock. We'll have a quick look at my Vincero watch, and, oh, you got yours on yeah. too? Yeah. Okay, so we've got our time. We'll see how long until we can get away with this. I think this is a good spot. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. All right. yeah, it's toy. Is it cheating if we have radios? Uh, no. <laughs> Where are you? We're hiding in the alley between Rodeo and Beverly Drive. Is that a cop just come and talk to you? A cop? Alex, no cops have talked to me. Why? Did a cop talk to you? Yeah, hold on, just come coming. My spot! My spot! Get out! Get out of here! Stop following us! Oh, we got Andrew with us now too. We got we got another R8, but it's a V10. It's a real supercar. <gasps> no one's found us, so we're out here. We're chilling. You're taking photos. Yeah, we're chilling. I'm, we're enjoying. This doesn't even feel like hide and go see. We're so good that this just turned into a photo shoot. So this cop on a bike pulls up next to me. Okay. At a red light. Yeah. He, I, uh, he, he looks at me. I saw. I rolled down my windows. He's like. Where's Damon? I need to know now. I looked at him for a second and I started laughing because I knew he was joking. Dave, where did you park? We're on the other, we're on the off road down the other side of the alley, like the other side of the Rodeo and some of you guys. See this? Andrew, and I got a decoy R8 now. So if I need to, I'll swap R8s minus the pink wheel and be invisible. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you take the pink wheels off, your R8's invisible. Have you it? even seen the BMW go by yet? The one that's it first? No, but I did bump into the motorcycle cop that we met in Monterey. He's looking for you right now, he told me. Okay guys, we've decided that it's been too long in this one spot. We're gonna risk our perfectly good hiding spot for a little action, and we might do a loop down Rodeo. And what did she say? She said this is a private property, we have to move. Oh, there's a security guard telling Alex to move. She's right behind that vehicle. They kicked me out of Ralph Lauren. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they go to this one alley, they'll find like all of us. I know, is everybody, is like, are we all down here? You guys Most of us, most of us, Corey's just down there, man. Corey got caught. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, this spot's legit. Look at this. In the alley. You guys, we're in the alley. And then, look at this. We got the door out to block. Oh my. And then Alex, put it across the front of the car. No, screw you, this is mine. What? <laughs> Check out the Viper. I don't think you can see it. Like, let's see your reaction. Yeah, let's go see. Viper's got a really good spot, better than ours apparently. Oh, that's legit. I mean, unless you come from this way, you're yeah. not seeing it from that way. That's a good spot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. This is awesome. I don't want his car over here in the back. I don't blame them, it's a Dodge. Whoa! <laughs> what is this piece? <laughs> oh! Dude, I couldn't see anything until I moved that piece of wood. It's uh, urban camo. <laughs> oh! That makes so much sense now. Cheddar. You knew, you can smell Lambos, can't you? Cheddar, can you smell Lamborghinis? Yeah, you can, yeah, you can, yeah, you can, yeah, you can. Uh, so who's it? Corey. Corey's it, Corey just decided to Oh, so up. we're waiting, we're still not tagged. You're not tagged. Oh, yes. Rev it. Almost, almost. We 
got a new spot, guys. We are, though. In a spot that's reserved, so we're gonna have to stay with the car because it says right here. Violators will be sighted and towed. I don't wanna be sighted and towed. I just wanna play a good game. So the alley's right here. I'm hoping this is good. Make sure he's not there. Okay, if you came down the road, this car is gonna be blocking. If you guys were in a car and you were driving, and you were driving like this down the road and you looked left, you would barely see the top of the car. Okay, quick, time check. Five so, 553. Yeah. Correct, I confirm, 553. Uh, we've only been here for like two minutes. Oh, duck, duck, there he is. BMW. I don't know, that's Corey's brother, Capron. I don't know if he's it or if he's cruising around. Corey, right there, look. There he is! Ah! <laughs> you drove right by us because we're so low on the hedge. Corey just drove right, right by us. He didn't see me because I'm not on Rodale. I'm hiding in the alley and there's a hedge that when I slam my car, you can't see over the hedge. Electro beam 4x4. Four four. Right behind me. Thing is sick. We're not gonna have any. Any what? How are you, David? Oh, hey, how's it? I don't, re I don't know that part of it. I don't recognize you. How are you doing? Good, good. What are you guys doing? Not much. We're playing a game of uh, hide and seek supercars. So everyone just goes, like and, someone goes and hides somewhere, and we have one guy who just drives around looking for you. So it's a very legal, good game to play for us. I don't know who's it. Well, they're never going to find us here. Just when they find you, I'll write a ticket. Yeah, that would be good. How you doing? Good, good how are you? Good to see you again. That was fun. So Alex goes, an officer pulled up beside, there, Alex right there. There he is, come over and get your ticket, Alex. <laughs> he goes, some officer on a motorcycle pulled up beside me and said he's looking for you. And at first I was like, it's oh my gosh. Oh, I knew he didn't ride a bike. Come get your ticket, Alex. You can't park there, move along. You'll get sighted. We're gonna sight everybody. So he essentially vandalized your car. Essentially, uh, yeah. essentially yes. So what? we can arrest him for vandalism. Yes! <laughs> Over a thousand dollars, it's an expensive car. In front of my car. <laughs> Joy. Uh, I, I got flagged down about some vandalism of this car. About something that was vandalized on this car and apparently you're the suspect. You're the you have suspect. Some this doesn't I'm just walk all the way. You vandalized my yeah. car. Of course, when I walk all the way up there, make like three loops around this place, and I come walking all the way over here, there's a spot. Oh yeah, that is yeah. actually kind of funny. Now look, it is funny. But no, really, I want to know. We were talking about it. it's actually illegal for you to vandalize my car like this. Yeah, you yeah. you've illegally so you have inserted. In your pockets is going to make it true. So if I search you now, if he searches you, Maybe. there's nothing in your pocket. All right. <laughs> Don do you want, do you want the, oh, <laughs> I want that, I want it, I want it, I want it, I've been trying, I've been trying, I've been trying to get it from him for Did a you? week. He's super cool, huh? Sick, holy poly. Oh, but even better, check this out, A12 super fast. Nice car. Barito. Okay. Please tell me, how did you not find us? I parked on Rodale with a police officer for like an hour. I, I don't know, I really don't understand. I literally was looking, I thought I would, it's probably because I was looking too hard for a Lamborghini and I- Looking too hard. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that's sick. I literally threw down my burrito and ran for that, just for you guys. All right, guys, that is the... Can you used to do a backflip? No, I was a... I want to see that again. Hold on, I want to see that again. Can you do it again? You really can do a backflip just standing? Oh. Okay. That's it, I'm done. I don't even know what to say. This is the outro. I'm ready. Corey doing back... For what? I love how he says, the outro. Uh, how are we saying it? For what? The outro. Well, I got cut off by... Okay, I'm ready. No, it's your Canadian accent. I think it's funny. My I think anybody that watches this thinks it's funny. You say Canadian at Canadian accent? Canadian? You don't number here, buddy. It's not a Canadian you accent. Three, you got three Canadians right here. It's a <laughs> uneducated lisp 
<laughs> they're, More they're, unlike me. No, they're like, get out of here. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> get, <laughs> what? What? get out of here. He's partially British. Well, hey, thank you for inviting us to the uh, supercar hide and seek game. Yeah, of course. I feel like I won. You guys never found us. We might have been a little outside the parameters. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. But uh, your brother found you first. Yeah, he did find me first. And then, I, I was like deep down in a parking structure and like from the outside area. And I was like, there's no way he's gonna find me like first, did, but he did. Did you find anybody after that? No, I didn't find anybody. You drove, you wanna see on the camera? You drove right by us. Me really? See. Yeah, I'll show you. Dude, okay. I wanna see it. Thank you for inviting us, guys. Smash that subscribe button, go out and check the Funk Bros. I'll put a link in description. They do plenty of crazy stuff. Also, check out Corey on Instagram. Dude just did, uh, what's that called? Like a, a gainer. A gainer, he did a, a gainer. He did a gainer walking front backflip thingy off of a five story building. Yeah, it's about into, that high. Yeah, about that high. A boat. A boat. Oh my. I just, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. I love it. It makes the videos more interesting because you talk funny. I talk funny. So he did, he did a gainer, a boot. <laughs> hey boot, hey day. He did a, a gainer off of a building, five stories, into a pool that was only seven feet deep. Go and check him out. Damon's doing a backflip, go, go. <laughs> and I'm unemployed. Would, would... Gotta make some calls, do some business moves. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. you need me for that. <laughs> I'm gonna sell out. I'm in LA, this is Hollywood. Get a <laughs> supercar and all of a sudden you're Mr. Big Shot. <laughs> it's a, it's only half a supercar, it's just a V8. Oh! oh! <laughs> I told Dave this was a bad idea. Not on Rodeo, but he doesn't listen. No, 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 no. Oh, he's coming in hot too. They're not squealing now. So you gotta do that 20 times. 18 more to go. <laughs> Next one. We're good. Hey. We're good. Wow, the, no brakes are, squeak. the brakes are coming oh, in again. Oh yeah. Rodeo Drive is the best place to do this. I think it's the, the lights. You know the what? Glam. You know what? Just for good measure, do one more. <laughs> What are you doing? It's really funny. Why? Everybody on the internet takes things so personally. Oh, you're not telling me anything new? Uh, Damon comes off like he thinks he's better than everybody, especially poor Dave. True, me. that's actually true. He has to belittle <laughs> Dave daily for accepting a gift. Oh wow. I'm sure he likes the car, but inside he feels like, damn. If I knew I was gonna be treated like shit, I would turn it down. This might end up ruining their friendship. First of all, were we ever friends? I don't think so. This is his business. This is, it's not like we're dating. Again. Again. I can't go through another the divorce with you. You did buy that car though. I think people don't realize how much of what we say to each other is like us maybe playing it up a little. Did you like the drama? You do like the drama. At the end of the day, am I like the world's worst guy? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wouldn't say the world's worst, but you're my friend who's the world's worst guy. So yeah. on the right side of the fence. Yeah. No, you're a good guy. What are you doing, David? I'm gonna tell on you. Go for it. Hey, what are you cutting? What do you think he's doing? I don't know, just cutting the battery. I need a screwdriver. Or not a screwdriver, a different wrench. Yeah, I just cut like a few red cables. None of these look important. It's still got the part that you get to start your car. Start your car. You disconnected the battery and you shoved it all the way down there. Start your car. I just wanna see if it'll work. How do I, how do I manually open the frunk? Look Wait. underneath the dash. Pranks are funny until I get payback, aren't they? When you Actually, let's strip search him. I don't have anything. Like oh, you have nowhere to go now. <laughs> now you've really done it, Damon. I got him! I got him! Oh, <laughs> I got you! You get out of here! I got him! Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the key? <laughs> Perez thought it was funny to mess with my stuff. Now I've got his keys to his BMW. It's going in the back of the truck. And you're gonna have to run until it stops at a red light. Let's show them what it's really like to mess with Damon Fryer. I'll give you valuable information. Oh, we're now we're bargaining. <laughs> Two seconds ago, <laughs> you Damon, your car is always gonna honk, right? Did you figure out what wires we cut? Yep, get out of here. 
We'll hide it here. Yeah, this so this looks here. pretty good. Hide it here and give the address. So look at the address of the key. No, we'll give them wrong addresses and make them run around a little bit first. Let's go. Okay, come on. Guys, we're, we're pulling here. back onto Rodeo to get Alex to fix the tire slayer. This should stop Choi from leaving too. Yeah, that's good. Stop. That's good. Stop! A little bit far. Inch. He ain't going anywhere now. Inch. Oh, that's good. It's hard. Okay, we've got Choi blocked in. So until he fixes my car, his car ain't leaving, and they ain't getting the keys back for Alex Perez's car. Your keys are at an address in Beverly Hills that we just drove to, and I'll give you that address and how to get there once I have my car debunked by you guys. Hey, hey, hey look What's who up? showed up. We got the car biz on the scene. I have this weird problem. Problem. Okay, see this little thing? I stole one. There's two of these. Honks my horn remotely. It's actually a pretty good prank for 24 hours, which it is exceeded. It's been on for a long time. It's been on for a while yeah, now. Issue. Why don't you fix this damn car? I can't. Huh? Why don't you get Troy to fix it? He doesn't know how either. He well, doesn't know how to fix it. How'd you guys put it on? It was a third party. Someone else did it. Who did it? You guys. Smash the subscribe button. That's going to be a wrap for tonight. You'll have to find out in another episode, does he ever get his car back? I don't know. I guess it depends on, does my car ever get fixed? Thanks for watching. Check out the car biz. Peace.